in our last class we already designed a full adder by using two half adders and by the help of nor gates and there we used 12 nor gates but designing a full adder is also possible by using less number of gates if we forget about implementation by the help of half adders so let's get started half adder as we know that we have discussed in our last class also that it is a combinational circuit which performs arithmetic addition of two binary digits and it has two inputs and two outputs that we already know sum and carry and this is the block diagram of a half adder where a and b are inputs and s stands for sum and c stands for carry so these two are outputs and this is the truth table for a half adder and if we simplify sum and carry by the help of kmap then for sum we know that uh, it will be a zor operation between two inputs a and b and for carry it will be and operation between two inputs a and b and this is the logical circuit for half adder and for full adder we have three inputs and two outputs and it is a combinational circuit which performs addition of three binary digits and this is the block diagram for a full adder where we can see that we have three inputs a b and c i n we know that c i n is the carry input and that could be the carry output uh, from the previous uh, circuit or previous adder and again we have two outputs and for sum it will be again the zor operation between all these three inputs so a zor b zor c i n and for carry as we can see this is, will be a b plus b c i n plus a c i n these are the things that we already know that i have already discussed in our last class and this is the truth table for full adder and uh, all the values of sum corresponding to the input combination of a b and c i n and similarly for c out or carry output and this is the logical diagram where a b c are the inputs and their corresponding outputs or corresponding outputs of the and gates and in this diagram we have shown the sum by using a three input or gate so this is the expression of sum and this is the expression of carry now we will see the main part of today's class so before that we will again revise implementation of x nor gate by using nor gate that we have seen in one of our earlier classes where i discussed the implementation of all other gates by using nor gate so you can refer that class so i'm not going to explain this thing again and next what we will do before implementing the full adder by using nine gates we will see true simplification so what we can see here is we have a x naught b x naught c and so how it can be taken as a x naught b that itself can be taken as a single input x and c as uh, our second input y so basically we can see this way that this is a nor operation between x and y so we know that formula x y plus x complement y complement so similarly since x is x itself is a x nor b so in place of x we have written here this a x nor b and then y y is c plus x complement so a x nor b and then complement of that and this is y complement now if we simplify further then what we'll get we have kept the first term as it was a x naught b and then c and we have simplified the second term so what it is it is complement of a x naught b so complement of a x naught b is what it is xor complement of xor is x naught and complement of x naught is xor so we have written accordingly a xor b and then c complement then in the next line what we have written here is that a x naught b what i said that a x naught is complement of xor so here a xor b and then complement of that and then with that the c is in and operation and now in the second term we have xor between a and b and then c complement so what we can see here is in this term in the second term we have a xor b and then c complement so a x or b if we take this way as a single input m then m and this is n bar and here a x or b complement so this is m bar this will be n so how it is it is m n bar plus n m bar that means this is the formula of xor gate so it will be m n bar plus m bar n 
that means this will be XOR operation between M and N and M itself is A XOR B. So finally it will be A XOR B XOR C. We started from A X naught B X naught C and we reached to A XOR B XOR C. That means we can say for a 3 input X naught gate or for odd inputs X naught gate the result of X naught between all the inputs and the result of XOR between all these odd inputs are same. So since we are dealing with three inputs here so our X naught operation between A B C and XOR operation between A B C will give us the same result. So this is one important conclusion that we have drawn here and that we will be using while implement the full adder. Now the second important implementation is here we have used A plus B complement and then here we have A X naught B plus C I N and then complement and then we have NOT operation we have OR first and then NOT. So this is one input and this is another input and we have performed NOT operation between those two inputs and now we will simplify that. So what we have done here this will obey De Morgan's law. So this input plus this input and then complement of that as if X plus Y complement. So it will be X complement and Y complement. So X itself is A plus B complement. So here we have double complement and then Y again itself we have this expression and then complement and then on top of that we will have another complement. So in both the terms we will have double complements and we know that if we have double complements on any term or any expression then they cancel each other. So finally after cancellation we will have A plus B in the first term and then we will have AND operation and then we will have this expression. So what we'll do next is we will try to simplify the second term further. Now this is X naught operation between A and B. So A B plus A bar B bar plus the next term C I N and now we will simplify. So A and A B. So it will be A A B and A A B means it will be A B finally and that's what I have written A B here. Then we will have A A complement B complement then we will have A C I N then it will it will be B A B and again finally it will be A B only right we know that rule and then we will have B A complement A B complement and then we will have B C I N so from here as we have already simplified the first term so it is A B then the fourth term will be also A B so the next two terms that we will remain in this expression is A C I N and the last term B C I N again a b plus a b as per the boolean algebra we know that will be a b only and then a c i n and then b c i n so what resembles this this resembles the carry output of a full adder so can't we say that or can't we see that this is the operation of sum for a full adder if we have three inputs a b c and this is the carry of a full adder when we have the same inputs now we will use this simplification in our implementation where we will use or uh, where we will implement full adder by using minimum number of NOR gates. Now in previous case in our last class we used 12 gates and in today's class we will be using 9 gates but we will not go through half adder this time and that's why it will be possible. So here this is the circuit that we have already seen where we have used 4 NOR gates and the input is A and B if they are A and B we have seen then finally the output will be A X naught B so in this stage the output that we are getting is X naught between the two inputs A and B and the same circuit if we repeat in the second stage or in the next stage then again and if we take this output output of the first stage as one of our inputs then the input for this circuit will be or one input will be a x naught b and the other input will be say if it is c i n the third input of full adder then what will be the final output of this circuit or the circuit that we have at second stage it will be what in the first stage we have seen that this will be x naught operation between two inputs. So that means it will be again x naught operation between two inputs where one input itself is a x naught b. So that is one input 
and with that we will have XNOR between second input which is CIN and which is the third input of our full add. Now next what we have done here we have taken this output and what is this output this is a and then nor with b and what is this output this output is again nor operation between these two inputs so first input itself is a x nor b and with that we will have nor operation with cin so these are the two inputs that we have taken and we have passed through another nor gate and final output will be what final output is supposed to be so this is one input and then we have another input which is a nor b and then we have another nor operation and what we have seen here that a x nor b x nor c when we have three inputs or when we have odd number of inputs finally it will be same as a x or b x or c and this simplification an output of this expression is finally what the carry of a full adder this expression is the output of this nor gate so what we can conclude here is the output at this point will be a x or b x or c i n that means output will be sum here sum of a full adder and output after simplification this will be a b that we have already seen then b c i n and then a c i n and which is the carry output of a full adder so we can say this is the implementation of a full adder by using nine nor gets so i hope this implementation is clear to you with that hope, I end today's class. Thank you.